Better than Lego. Better than Lego. <laughs> Matthew Jones is in position for a long range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the kick from Jones. Oh yeah, Jones family uh, podcast time, and all hail the mighty warrior from Puglia in uh, Italy, Patricia Johns, Jack Johns. Cooper Johns, pay tribute to your mother. The Mighty Warrior has finally arrived. People just off the plane from Las Vegas. Broken ankle, syndesmosis, torn ligaments, broken heart. It's all happening. How are you, Trish? Thanks, Dr. Johns. I'm okay. I've been better. Okay, let's get it straight out of the way. What, what took place? What happened? Ladies, do not wear the current on-trend wide-legged pant. I had flat shoes on and everything, boys. And 30 drinks too. No, Stop at 20. that. doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, and going downstairs, caught my shoe just in the hem of my pants. Do you remember how many stairs you fell down? I know I missed one, but three. I went down about yeah. three or four. Where, where are you at here? We are on our way out to get a cab in MGM Grand, I think. Yeah, we're yep. at Timmy Trumpet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Ooh. unfortunately, yeah. In your face, Timmy Trumpet. Look what you've done to our yeah. family. <laughs> Do what you a great! Do you think oh, the alcohol? Cankle, it's the worst cankle. Did the alcohol have anything to do with it? You think? I think the alcohol probably helped in that. <laughs> I um, don't. The pain. Oh yeah, but do you think I, I'm more talking about the falling? Mm. No. No, sure. no, it literally got caught in my pants. Don't you remember, you, Dad and I, remember the time we were walking to the MCG and I actually did have heels on. We are going to that game when you were in Melbourne a couple of years ago. Mm. And remember, the same thing happened, wide-legged trouser and my shoe got caught in it, um, the hem of the pant, and I saved myself. Do you remember? Yeah, and I you, said, oh, my God. Yeah, there it is what? there. Yeah. You saved yourself. Yeah, but you I didn't was save yourself this time, yeah. did you? Yes, but I was walking on flat ground then. She doesn't like people helping her, people, I don't. does she? Yeah, well, don't worry. I did on the way home when they kept offering me wheelchairs. And I, at first I said no. In the end I went, wheelchair? Before we get to how was your – because, of course, you and Britt Fletcher. Yes. Um, you had a few days together in LA. How was that? Awesome. Hmm. We really bonded. Up? Yes. Yeah. No, love it. What did you get up to? Alcohol? Had a great time. Uh, oh, a little tiddly bit. I did. Um, <laughs> this I, is unbelievable. I taught her it? a couple of things. What do you I mean? Taught, what um, does that mean? Well, she wanted, when we got off the plane, we left the airport together on separate separate flights. Um, she wanted to go and have a nap. I was like, no, 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 no. You don't do that. I said, I can't nap. If I said, if I nap, I'm gone for the day, and then my time clock's out. I said, no, you go and you find a bloody Mary. Mm. She was on board. So you taught her like morning drinking. Morning drinking. What what sort of things do you guys get up to there? Uh, I went to the comedy store. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, yeah. there's, a, there's a comedy store in Sydney now. A few of my mates went last Friday. Actually. I actually saw that. It's supposed to be quite good. What, what yeah. do you mean? Comedy. Yeah. I like a comedy club. As in, oh, it's a comedy club. Yeah, like comedy store, but like it's called a comedy store. Top top line um, American performers oh, are right. there. The woman that the top line act who it's meant to be there. Didn't show up, uh, and it was the woman, the really funny woman in Girls Trip. Remember, they're in New Orleans, and she goes a, across the zip line and she pees on everyone. Yeah, Trish, you're probably oh, that talking sounds, to the blokes that's that not, didn't watch Girls Trip. That's not Trip. funny. That's, that's okay. disgusting. Well, uh, well, I was waiting for her. She did not show up, mm. oh. and but we did get Sabrina, Sabrina, the teenage witch's auntie, apparently. Oh wow. Oh, yes. house. what a household yes. name. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Britt identified her. Witch's auntie. Yeah. Yes, the what, auntie. What else did you just get up to? I uh, did the canyon, uh, oh. the Runyon Canyon hike. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hang on a second. The Runyon Canyon hike? Is, but is, we hiked it. Uh, the Runyon Canyon hike. You're, you're, Runyon. No, she, yeah, this is in LA. Not yeah. Grand. You're thinking of Grand Canyon. Yeah, I don't know. I get Runyon. Is that actually the yeah, that's its name. Runyon? I even did you run? Check that. No, senor. Mm. No, going up. It was that steep. I was like, are you sure you're taking me the right way? We hiked up and we walked down. What else did you get up yeah. to? Then we um, found ourselves on the Sunset Strip after that, mm -hmm. needing some nourishment and, and some um, fluids. Yep. So we asked a local about a good Mexican. And seriously, thank God he told us exactly where it was because it looked closed. And when we walked in, it was that dark, and I was seriously expecting to see Pablo Escobar sitting in the corner. Oh, oh right. Trish. You were, sorry, you were hoping yeah. to see Pablo Seriously, Escobar. it was the dodgiest I place, feel, but very good food. I feel I can sense the old man's fishing for something. Now, what else do you get up to? There's something Any, you're uh, leaving. Do you get into Santa Monica? 
Uh, on the last day we did just for a bit of a shop. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. And basically you did exactly we were flying the, out. you did exactly the same thing that Fletch and I did. We did the same thing. You went to the comedy store when you We went to the comedy store in Vegas. We went for a we went for a little bit of a bike ride around Vegas. Hike. We did a canyon in Vegas. And it was just, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, we, and all did, we did was have a Bloody Mary. That was the only thing we drank the whole time. You guys didn't run into Pablo Escobar at all? I would <laughs> never run into Pablo Escobar. I think we ran into his cousin, Ian Escobar. <laughs> Ian, a good Colombian, Now, Mexican you are up name. to, uh, you did a few things on this trip. Mm. Why don't you tell the boys how you stole people's food? We're in Vegas. Because you can't, <laughs> one thing, of the, one of the things... When you go there at the hotel, it was so complicated oh. to get room service. You uh, couldn't do well, it. Well, you couldn't get room service. They wanted you to use an app mm. to I get it. That. But then we tried to do that, and because we were Australian, Australian phones, it went not in oh, your yeah. – yeah, no, so it was, yeah. a, whole, it was so, a whole shit show. So we were absolutely anyway. Lee, well, Lee Marvin. Start, that's why I lost weight in mm. Vegas. Seriously, so and it was t- so hard to have a so meal. So tell them what you did. Tell them what you did. You shouldn't be proud of this. I actually am proud of this. What I thought it was a great negotiation. Okay, so we're going up to our room after – First, second night out, I can't remember. And there's a delivery guy in there with his little whatever bag, little brown paper bag. And I look Ooh. at him Ooh. and he needs to get to the 57th floor. And I, and he went, can you get me to the 57th? I said, I can't, mate. Like we were on, on 52, our card won't work. I said, but what's – I said, well, how are you going to get that up? He goes, well, I don't know. I said, well, I'm really hungry. 20 bucks. And he went, let me take a photo of it in front of your room and it's yours. I went, sweet. 20 bucks, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I did not ask what was in it. I probably should have. Mm. Like, who's ordering fries and onion rings at 2 a.m. in the morning? Mm. It's probably all you could get at this stage, I guess. Oh, man. They don't really have halal snack packs (laughs) over in Vegas like they do here. Mm. So, don't worry. I I ate it still. Yeah, no. I didn't complain. You would have eaten anything. I was that. I it. Um, (laughs) Isn't it funny how different... She won't do that. (laughs) Isn't it funny how all the different countries in the world, like they all have different late night foods that are open. Like here, we're very much kebabs Mm. and halal snack packs. England is like curries and things like yeah, that. Yeah, Indian. Yeah, yeah. What big was, time. And then obviously Vegas was like fries and onion rings. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Although I, wouldn't, I didn't have any London food. London chicken wings. When I was over there. I love yeah. over Christmas, wings. Chicken was like, a, like fried chicken, sorry. Fried chicken at in, night. And where's that? In London. Really? Yeah, in mm. the late hours. Fried chicken little places, like little like pop-up stores everywhere. Because yeah. what I always crave late at night, like I love a kebab on a night out. It's so, it's <gasps> it the, is good. Not much more beats it. Uh, I can think of nothing worse than like having a curry best, or fries. Best kebab in the world was there was a kebab store in Wigan. <gasps> in, Did in, we have that before we went to see Robbie Williams? Uh, I, I, I Mate, don't know. Oh, Basically, I wouldn't say beforehand. It was the sort of place when you're leaving the Aussie bar or one of those bars, you'd just go straight in at King Street at Wigan. There's a kebab store there. They have the kebab, then they get the uh, the chips. It Honestly, it, it was insane. The worst... The worst meal I've ever had in my life was in Vegas. I had while I was there. It was early in early in the morning, and Trish and I were sort of just sort of sauntering home. It was about one a, one a.m. some like that. Trish goes, "I'm so tired." I said, "I just want to get something something to eat before we we go upstairs to the room." And there was only one place open, so I walked over and I thought, "What am I going to have here?" And I I had a look at the menu, and it actually at that time. It looked quite appetising. It was a deep fried peanut butter condensed milk and maple syrup sandwich. Oh, and hey, hey, that never looks good at that any sounds, time, mate. That sounds, that sounds like dreadful. Diabetes Gav's, in a sandwich. Gav's giving the thumbs up. Oh. Yeah, sweaty oh. Gav. Oh, Gav, oh Gav honestly, and I, I, I thought, mate, this looks, this looks good, oh. and I took one bite into it, and honestly, it was just like ants just started flooding to our room. There was that much sugar in I'm it. I'm just having like. Premonitions of Elvis just that's, like, oh, dead yeah. and just shit himself on the toilet. Is that, yeah. yeah, that's probably if what you happened, the same, Matt. Yeah. Elvis yeah. had his world-famous sandwich he used to get from Memphis, and the guy flew him all over, all over the world, this one shop, and it was deep-fried. Um, I, I tried one once, so not the, from the place, but they were, they were selling. It was uh, peanut butter and banana deep-fried sandwiches. Insane. How about really America good. and their takeaway places? Did, you, did anyone have an In-N-Out burger while you're oh, there? Oh, yeah. They're Apparently so they're good. great. 
Yeah, they're awesome. I, I didn't. Like, okay. Fries, how, shit, though. Fries how, are plastic. How good can a burger be? Really? Yeah. Is it that good? Very I mean, I've had good. some great burgers tell me what, here. Tell me what makes it good. Oh, it's just good. It's co- Think like a Big Mac because it has like that similar Big Mac sauce on it. Mm. But it's just like the cheese is, rather than the cheese just sort of being there, like just on top, like it's melted into mm, the patty. I do like that. And oh. it's just like, the yeah, the bread's really good. Think like a nice brioche bun. Best meal I had there, mm. taco de gorda. Oh, straight I across the and road I was from, unimpressed. Yeah, straight across the road from the hotel, uh, Fletch, myself, Hindy, and Lara Pitt went there one night. We said, we've got to go there. It, I've never seen a more efficient restaurant. So what you do is, let, just p- picture it like this if you went to McDonald's, right? You, you don't just line up and order. There's a Big Mac line, Fries line, McNuggets line, oh, Quarter yeah. Pounder line. So all the different lines. So you got burritos. Except, yeah. Even the burrito line, if you want, or let's no, say. No, it instance, actually actually wasn't. Matt. It was pork, steak. Yes. No chicken. Yeah. So it mm-hmm. goes. So you line up, and you go. Thanks for that. Just, well, yeah, no, I'm we'll just, gonna, no, 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 no. I, I want to address this. Thanks for yeah. that. That added <laughs> Why, nothing what to I'm that trying, story. That's, that's one of Dad's great pet hates when he, in the middle of a story and Trish just the adds, incorrect adds information. No, it's inc- it is correct. No information. value, but just to sort it's of just to it is correct it. information. Go what again. you got? You got enchiladas, <laughs> and then on the enchilada line, there's two ones to the side. So you have pork and something. Then the other one you have the taco, and you have the the spicy prawn and the pork or the beef. Right, I said there's probably about 12, uh, 12 lines. And rather than go, they go, what do you want? The moment you line up in that in that queue, that's what you're getting. I yeah, just thought that was incredibly efficient. Yeah. You, know, you know what? I had the first one I've ever you're had, wrong. a deep base pizza. And it oh, takes like an, a Chicago style. It takes an hour for them to cook. It's like, yeah, oh really God. deep. It's basically like a pie. Think like a... Well, that's what I call a pizza pie. Yeah, and it was, but it was like a big margarita pizza, and it was dreadful. It's like so oh. much bread. That was the biggest issue. Like you have two slices and you're full. I ordered a big Oily? one. Oh, so much oil on it. Like, oh, oh, God. I was literally you're on your, drinking you're, oil. You're on such a health kick. Oh. Yeah, but it, just, just on that, could, like that, let's shift off food for a sec. Let's address, no. let's address um, the elephant in the room. I don't want to talk about whatever you're about to talk about. <laughs> Uh, talk about I, I always thought like okay, Australians don't Australians don't have celebrities like Americans but how low can we stoop when Cooper Johns arrives at the airport and there's a you get papped and says Cooper Johns arrives home from Vegas yeah Was, were they waiting for someone else I, you, <laughs> I'm actually convinced you've got a stalker because that the photographer I, I won't say his name but I've seen him now take a few photos of you now he's either a big fan of Kiss um. FM Maybe. Or he's a big fan of... Uh, loves, of podcast, loves the podcast industry. Well, <laughs> every photo's had Kenner in it as well, so I'm a bit worried that it might be an infatuation. Hey, Jack, yeah. is the paparazzi following Cooper or is Cooper following... He's tipping the wildfire. <laughs> yeah. 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 Am I hey, texting the paparazzi? Is, this, is that the guy that said that you're at that ludicrous concert in your puffer jacket and your man bag? Which I noticed was... No, that was a bag. company. I checked that. That was a, that was a must have yeah. been some company. That was an American uh, company. company. Okay. Oh, but it's like the same thing. Mm. There was an article, NRL's man, okay. Wild Vegas Trip... And in the article, like six of the seven pictures had me in it, which Surprise. were no, like no current NRL players. It was only <laughs> me. Like, and I was like, I don't know, there was a couple in there. There was a few. And a few There's, assistant coaches yeah, as well. A few oh, assistant really? coaches in there yeah. having the time of their life yeah. at Ludacris. One looked a complete mess. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. he's a great guy, but he looked a mess. Actually, he's, I think that article said you were there too, Matt. The I article. Thought, I the thought, ar- well, and only so, if he put me to bed and snuck in. I read the article because Brace, Brace got papped. And he had the sh- he had the shits about it, and then I said to Braith, "Well, what about it? You, you, mate. At least you were there. It had that, you know, uh, the article. So this is what I'm getting to. This is what I'm getting to. The article led with Cooper Johns, and I was a byline. It said also dancing up a storm was Matthew Johnson, Braith, and Astor. <laughs> Firstly, I wasn't there. Secondly, the most important thing is, listen." My whole rugby league career, I was overshadowed by my brother. When it comes to media, I will not be overshadowed by my son, by Actually, my le- less less talented son. They might right? have done you a solid because they might have gotten the footage of you dancing at Timmy Trumpet thinking it was the same concert. And I think that's footage you probably don't want to yeah. be repeated in the mainstream. I'll be honest with you. I thought I, like I moved thought, pretty good. Uh, wow. Don't worry. I've uh, saved that photo from Timmy Trumpet's Instagram. And if you ever do anything to me, I will oh, more I've than happy to Actually, release that. As a, well, I didn't go. All right, for for people. Oh, you were there. Yeah, I wasn't there. (laughs) Believe it or not, I was holding down the fort here in Sydney. Uh, But uh, I've actually prepared some 
questions for each of you. Oh, I um, love it. Yeah, yeah. How good is this? Is this the most prep Jack's ever done? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it yeah, is. I actually podcast. wrote something down for this podcast. It's pretty incredible. Um, Matthew, mm. who was the most of these two MIA from you? Missing in action. You didn't see him. You saw him the most... Little amount you could have. That is that simple. It was Cooper Johns. Cooper. Cooper. I was just getting reports. I didn't know Cooper was there really until I kept reading uh, paparazzi reports that mm. Cooper was spotted here, there, and everywhere. Oh, interesting. Well, mm. Okay. Uh, oh, no, he only <laughs> appeared when he wanted to come to dinner with me. What about the time, Trish? Well, I got You're, invited. Trish was laying. Yeah, in bed. but who paid? Yeah. Yeah, Trish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trish was laying in bed with her busted ankle, ankle basically that was about to drop off, and contacted you and said, oh, can you bring me some food? Yeah, yeah. And, and come and send me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still haven't arrived. And I'm still waiting for it. Yeah. To, we. The bad thing about that story is it was in the early hours of the morning. 10.30. 10.30. Oh, okay. That felt like the early it was hours. 10.30. Not, not a great look there. This is your no. look on me, but I mean, it's it in Vegas, so this is probably the only time I can get away with it. I was acting like I'd just woken up, but in turn, I hadn't gone to bed yet. I was just sitting there having a few schooners. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sweet, I'll come and do it. And then literally 10 minutes later, I was like, I need to go to bed because the game's on <laughs> oh. today and I need to be at this game. Uh, why, 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 do you, why do you have to be at the game? Because, mate, from, I think you're a former player now. I had what? to get yeah. audio for, of Americans' reactions at the game. Oh, right. So I was – mate, unlike you, I was flat out working every day, not just two oh, days. Hey, the hey, hang on a second. Actually – Jack? Jack? How did I present myself on the coverage? I'll Jack said what, it was some of the best stuff I've ever done. <laughs> you, What's that right? On, I, to be fair, the last was it the last two or three days where you've had those commitments actually while at the game and the pre-game and all the coverage. Braith, Matthew, Yvonne, and Gordon, give them credit. They looked very good. They were very presentable for the uh, American I'll, audience. I'll say also, this. And Australian audience. We went over there like, okay, when, when you go away and you've got to work, it is finding the time that you can let your head down and have a time and then tie to switch and, and be serious. And in all seriousness is that the last thing that I wanted to do is to go over there and present myself on television in, a, in such a big occasion and look Shabby. Yeah, and do, or just do a bad job. Yeah, so there you go. Well, it's so the first learn, time you've learn your thought, lesson. It's good the to first see. time you've ever thought that way because you're happy to do it in Australia. No, it's just I don't brag about it. <laughs> um, Trish, Trish, yes. for the entire trip, you would have seen some NRL players. I know you don't know them all. Is there any particular player that actually uh, surprised you? They impressed you. The way they carried themselves. You saw any on a night out. You saw. You I didn't see were... any on a night out. Just bumped into a few um, in the resort. How are Anyone, they? How any of and they're all lovely. Very lovely. Who, who in particular? Uh, caught up with Greg Inglis. That was oh, really Greg lovely. Is a good man. Yeah. And Wade Graham. Wade and, Graham's a champion. And Latrell and Cody. Oh yep. yeah. yeah. Got big hugs from them. That was oh, very sweet. Good. Hugs. Good. Yeah, big hugs. Hugs, Yeah, don't worry. I was sort of. I, I got Latrell gave Trisha, but you know, I just gave him the old fashioned evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Cooper. Yeah. Of all the journos, you were actually. I saw you doing a bit of media. You, you saw plenty of journos and a lot of influencers over there that were there for the trip. Yeah. Who impressed you? Buzz Rothfield. <laughs> Buzz was awesome. I didn't Buzz, see Buzz. I, yeah, I suppose I didn't know how funny Buzz was. Uh, I've, I haven't, like, I've met Buzz around a fair bit, but I didn't, I haven't had a heap to do with Buzz. And extremely funny. Is he? Uh, and he was on fire. I think it, it's probably like the time where Buzz just goes, okay, this is Buzz's, this is Buzz's five days. Time and to shine. Yeah, Buzz took over Vegas, I'm pretty sure. I think there was one night when the big fella. Over there was locked horns with Buzz and had a, had we quite a drink with him till the early really hours. Fuel the journals. It was really good. Has he ever, he's ever written a bad article about you? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably been a few. I mean, I don't really. I say enough bad stuff about myself where I don't really care about what. If Buzz had something bad yeah. to write when I was playing about my playing under the radar a bit. Yeah. yeah, I don't. And Buzz, I don't think Buzz has ever put a jersey on as well. So I don't think but Buzz Jack, probably. Co Cooper's very clever. Uh, no one fires more bullets at Cooper than Cooper himself. Yeah. yeah. If I'm gonna, if someone's gonna take shots at me, I'm taking the first shot. Right <laughs> so they're, they're shooting at me while I'm already down. Okay. On the subject of guns, let's take a quick break, and we'll be back uh, with more of the John's Family Podcast. Welcome back to the John's Family Podcast. Um, 
Well, there's been a lot said about Vegas. I just want to pay tribute to two guys that deserve mention, two pioneers of rugby league that championed the cause of rugby league for years and years in America. One was a guy called David New, um, and Dave was he was a, a halfback or standoff who played for uh, St George uh, during the uh, during the late eighties and early nineties. This is an amazing story. On a dra- on the St George end of year trip one year, they went to Honolulu. Dave went down the beach on the first day, met an American girl on the beach, married her two weeks later, and moved to America. Has championed oh. the cause of rugby league in America. I saw him. A couple of times, me and Fletch running to my left, and mate, like, as you can imagine, he was very, very emotional. Uh, he deserved that. And the other one is Matty Astle. Mm. Matty Astle, who's a manly boy. Matty went over to the States, um, went over there. Uh, he's sort of at a loose end, I think. Went over there, did a bit of personal training. Then he bought a bar called The Ship of Fools in Manhattan. Uh, he sold that and bought The Australian. A lot of people, our man Gav here, worked at The Australian. Um, and... Matty actually, we'll talk about a yeah, stroke of incredible st- stroke of luck. Matty sold the Australian to an uh, Irish consortium a week before COVID hit. Mm, yeah. And it's closed down. It's not even around anymore, is it? Uh, it turned into an Irish bar. I mean, because New York doesn't have enough Irish yeah. bars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was Matty over there? Matty was there. He, yeah. was, he was the same. Well, the American Tomahawks had a reunion there, and he was really emotional as well. Great mm. to see him. Yeah. Do you know what else was over there? A lot of. Australian Bucks parties. Oh, that is no surprise. A lot, of, yeah. So, people, boys, um, if you're planning on your box party for next year's uh, round zero, box party, box party. Box. That sounds Bucks. good. Bucks. That Can sounds very. Hey, sounds I just better flew in this morning. Be nice. Mm. Um, you might want to start proposing now. Any, That's any, all I'm saying. Do, did you go to any chapels while you were there? <gasps> I almost Brit went to one. Um, friends of hers were getting married. I did get invited, but I just needed a bit of a rest. Do you see they got uh, they got Charlie, uh, yeah. Reggie the Rabbit, they got him up there to to marry up some uh, South, South supporters. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, yeah, and they came to our show on the Friday cool. night for their honeymoon. They came to our show. Oh, they wow. were in the audience just after it. That's pretty good from South to do that. Yeah. That's pretty He's a good cool. man, Charlie. They, always, they take him everywhere too. Got him on, we got him on the way back from a charity shield about three years ago. I won't, I'll keep it in house, but it was, it, was, it was a good time. How about all better. the supporters over there? Fremont Street. Have you spoken about yeah, that, Matt? Yeah, we spoke about that. That was yeah. amazing. We met some great people. The Thornley family, the whole family, people from Dubbo, a lot of regional people lot. made the trip. And Darwin. So they had to travel to get to Sydney to begin with and then um, – on to LA and then Vegas. Every bit of it worth it though for Yeah, us. everyone yeah. loved it. I think next year's going to be huge. It, it's, do you think um, like it's, got, it's got good exposure for clubs? I, I wouldn't be surprised if the NRL make it like a bit of a – like it's a bit of a kick up the ass to NRL clubs to sort of like, you know, make your content, you know, your presence on social media, you're making mm. your, your yeah. presence, in, like, you know, in terms of pushing for memberships, you know, really trying to present themselves well as a club, you know, because – it's good exposure for the clubs I, to go. Jack, over. I totally agree. I think I think this represents like the four clubs. They 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 chose four clubs for a reason to go over there, mm. and I think this provides an incentive for a lot of clubs to say, "Hey, if, if you want to be picked as one of the sides to go over there, get your shit in order." Yeah. But a team that sort of is under the radar, and it's probably because they're a bit under the radar this year for going over next year, is the Canberra Raiders. Because you think about it, you think in terms of. Uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Mm. Yeah, you might get a lot of fans over there. They mm. go, oh, they're the Raiders as well. They're yeah. in Australia. I can. They're a different competition. Just in terms of the name and the brand, mm. I might go for them as well. Yeah, yeah. like Pen- Penrith, big one. Yeah, Pen- I'll tell you another one that's a big one that I haven't been really spoken about. Parramatta have an enormous mm. supporter base. Yeah, when Parramatta start to, yeah, to play true. well and win, my God, you 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 just we underestimate how big a fan base Parramatta have, which. I- I reckon they the te- the four teams they picked. You can tell the four teams they picked this year are the ones with the biggest star power, mm, like the big, you know, Latrell, yeah. Teddy, Reece. Turbo, Reese mm. Walsh, Chairs. Like mm. they just have. And they all the, delivered, and they yeah, all they, did, yeah, they all played. They? So I think a pretty good incentive to play well is to win in Las Vegas because yeah. you can tell the teams that won were the teams that partied the hardest after it as well. Yeah. So I think that the clubs give them a good. Kick up the arse. If there's if there's to be at least one Queensland team next year, if you're mm. going in terms of star power and put form aside because they, it looks like they're going to have to try and announce the side early in the season to get all the fans prepped mm. and ready to go, which team is it? It's a tough one. Um, I'm going to say the Titans. 
I knew you would. You know what? In yep. terms of star power, the Titans have got some. You know, yeah. when you go from your Tinos to your you Day for Tino. Feeders, yeah. yeah, Dolphins are on the climb. Yeah. I, I, I probably think the Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys. Do you have, reckon they've got like, such like Tam Malolo, Scott Drinkwater, like they've mm. got big, Tom Dearden. big fan base too. Yeah, mm. big and, big and fan a lot. Base. Most of their players, you look across their squad, everyone plays either international or Origin. Like, mm. yeah. I think they've got such a big Valentine Holmes. You, like, there's so many big players. Trish, you picked something up. Like, because everything in Vegas is a hustle. Everything mm. on it on our on our show. You oh. Got, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Um, I had quite a few people send me pictures after your Friday night show, which would have been Saturday here. Mm -hmm. um, there were some people who were outraged that um, behind the live show, where you were doing it out on the street, there was a travelling billboard advertising escorts yeah. wow. behind Paddy it, Carrigan's head. But it happened on all of the shows. So I did what it. happened in 360... They, there were a lot of people taking photos. It was just sitting there. And someone told me after, they said, no, no, no that's exactly what they do. When there's like a live broadcast somewhere anything. and it's going to be on TV, they just circle that's right. and just sit yeah, there. It is so clever. It is so right? smart. Yeah. So smart. Actually, yeah. oh. Everything I is think, a hustle. Um, I think Brent Reed was driving it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, all, the, Reed. All, the, all the journos were having a good time. Yeah, they deserve it too. Yeah. Dave Riccio, he was there. He's yeah. a champ. Yeah, they were all, because I haven't, Met him at that person on a night out. They were all so much fun. All the journalists, really? yeah, and all the ex players that are in the media now. They just do you think um, <laughs> after the games they must have just done it as a one off in Vegas. Some of the journos were actually in there interviewing players like they used to back in the day. Do you think it could work again uh, with the NRL yeah. the way it is now to get journos actually in the dressing rooms after games? Because now they've got to stay outside. Jack, so much. So this has broke down a lot of barriers. One of the ones is on the plane ride over, we're all going, how's it going to work? Like, there are a lot of grudges, that like old grudges that were on the plane. Amongst the journos. Has, and a lot of, it sort of, the ice melted. Yeah. And like rival newspapers and rival media outlets and things like that, everyone just let it go and got on with it. And, and Jack, mm. you're exactly right, is that I thought that the players gave a lot of respect to the journalists and the job they're doing and vice versa. I think the, the journalists gave a lot of respect to the players and gave yeah. them a lot of kudos. I think it's I think it, that is one of the aspects that hasn't been spoken about. Yeah. There's enormous benefit. Yeah. Mm. My greatest regret is not having gone to you two. Oh, uh, what would tickets Friday cost in you think? Uh, I could have bought a ticket. And it would have worked out to have been two and a half thousand Australian dollars. Oh my god! Fifteen hundred. No. Not US. for no. general for admission. No. So I could have been at the back row, and no. I just went, you know, you know what? what? Nah, I'm not doing that. You probably. I had a look at one of my mates went. They uh, said it was amazing. Yeah, and he Best was up. Ever. He was up the back, oh, but the mixed. footage. The footage actually looks better from the back because you get the whole screen. You get and like, the, the sphere. Yeah, effect. and you're looking around everywhere. Mm. He had. He obviously. Uh, there's some. Um, the the gummy the world of gummies are legal over there and he said he oh. he showed me a video he was he had a few uh, gummies and he went there and the videos he was taking I I can imagine nothing worse than him <laughs> tripping out losing his mind <laughs> when he's got like I'm surprised he didn't have some sort of epileptic fit oh, yeah. oh well that is, would be it is the craziest show yeah. it's but the, on amazing video it insane well yeah. well I've had mixed reports. There Have was you? one person I, I asked, and they went, "Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good." Another person said it was insane. It was so it, it was so good. But this person was nearly at the front. By the way, it cost them seven and a half thousand dollars for a ticket. Yeah. Mm. See that hurts. But then like... Fletcher's mate, the great Beast, Left, didn't he? Beasto, he walked out. No way. He he said it was garbage. He said they <laughs> didn't basically garbage on her. He just said they barely moved on stage, and most of the songs were ballads. Oh. Think there's he probably a correlation between how much someone liked it and how many gummies they had. <laughs> there probably was. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Beast hadn't had any any gummies. Did you go it. past any of the, the stores over there? Oh, oh, if, oh like every They're minute. on every corner. Every you minute. Smell every in Nevada? It. Well, the, it wasn't yeah, as bad. Nevada you were in LA. Obviously, LA, LA they're everywhere. And, but Nevada, Nevada, same thing. Yeah, there's yeah. Dispensary. there was a yeah. car dispensary out the front of Resorts World. <laughs> Nevada. <laughs> Las Vegas is nowhere as bad as Los Angeles. Oh, the smell of LA is weed. Yeah. 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 Like, but just, New York was as well, Matt. New we York was there. exactly the same. And I feel like it was coming out of cars. I'm going, hang on. 
Yeah, How long do you think? Out. How long do you think it'll be till? Because Thailand's the same now. Yeah, I, I hope everywhere. we don't go that route. Oh, you really don't? As, yeah, I do. Oh god, what a party pooper you oh, are! Yeah. I hope we okay, don't. That's the end of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> no, but let's go back to the Friday night. If I'd have gone to bloody you two, then I wouldn't have hurt my foot. Oh, oh but hey, you never sliding know. doors moment. You know who else was on you two that night? Jack, oh. your big muso, Madonna oh, was yeah. there as well. And yeah. the comparison in prices, Madonna's cheapest ticket. Hundred dollars US. Yeah, really. Which I'm yeah. thinking that's a that's a lot of a pay difference between. Yeah, the well, two she wouldn't them. have been in the, the sphere though. No, nah. she was in some arena. Have you ever T-Mobile. seen the? Um, I'm wearing an Nirvana shirt right now. Have you ever seen uh, Kurt Cobain, um, Dave, and um, Chris Novoselic? They do of Nirvana. They do an interview in like the '90s, and they get asked by a journal journal how much they're paying. Like their fans are paying to go see them, and they're paying twenty bucks. And Madonna was charging like a hundred dollars, and they were rattled. They were saying like, you know, being quite, um, being quite, you know, judgmental, saying like, you know, how can you make your pa- your fans pay that much just to come see you play? Mm. Well, it looks like it's done a bit of a one eighty. Jack, I, I yeah. remember in like in the eighties, like Ces- at, in Cessna Rover Motors buses, they used to pay you go down to Sydney for concerts, and it was thirty two dollars to go down. On the bus, return and get a uh, and to get a ticket. Things like really thirty two dollars, thirty two dollars. Some festivals I don't you see festivals from the eighties and especially the seventies, and you see what people were paying. If they weren't free, you're walk, you're almost walking in. It was right. one of the big Friday night. There was they were saying one of the biggest nights in the history of Vegas. It was a, like the three titans, they called it. It was U2, Madonna, and the Maddie John show. Yeah, and, Maddie John's, <laughs> and guess yeah. what? No one walked out of the Maddie John no. show. Well, that's because they didn't Was have that to free? Pay. True. It's yeah. free. True, but they had to line up. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Do you want to. Um, when we were over there, we met Joel and Monica Parkinson. He mm. was He's a retired surfer. Great guy. Now, he, he, I was like, oh, you're over here for the footy. He was like... Yeah, hang on. Actually, we're not going to let you just sit on that. When you say retired server, I think everyone got who Joel Parkinson yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's well, a retired server. Clarity. Always best to, to explain. Yeah. You just don't yeah, know. Yeah, they might have known. And Explore the space. Awesome people. Brilliant. I loved him even more when he explained. He wasn't there for the football. He had been... He'd purchased tickets to Adele a year ago. And she cancelled. Oh, oh wow. did she? She cancelled. That's a, that's a hard one to carry because she's, oh, she's he, a good life. So they'd booked an entire trip to Las Vegas and they were going off somewhere else, I think. And it was all to see Adele because he, he loves her. She's he's, mm. Before he used to go on surf heats, he would listen to Adele. Really? Yeah. yeah. Quite I actually calming. Wanna, yeah, I know. He's pretty chill sort of a bloke. I'm really interested. I think I've not really watched him surf before. I'm, I would like to see some of his heats mm. to see if he's like – Really yeah. smooth and calm, and then the explosive sure movements when she yeah. hits those high notes. If he loves Adele, know. I'm sure he would have loved being in the front row of Thunder from down under them oh, as well. Yeah. With all the oh, you boys loved it. With I, the love it. I kept looking uh, over at you, will, you're loving I, it. I asked Joel, I said, of all the blokes you've surfed with or against, yep. who's like um, the toughest, the bravest, the most hardcore? He said, Mick Fanning. Really? Did he? he said, throw them all in. He said, Mick Fanning. He said, there's waves. He said, I've seen come through at places like Pipeline and Chapu. And he said, guys will paddle to the shoulder of the wave. He said, Mick will paddle in. Well, he said, Well, he fought wow. a shark. Yeah, you know he did I mean? fight a shark. I mean, yeah. who, has, like, he who, has, who hasn't done that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, on Parco, because he's tight with Harry Grant. Oh, oh, is he? he? So he's, yeah. a, he's a he's a beautiful fellow. He's yeah. A, well, Harry's he he gave a big rap to Harry Grant. Said who's a great friend of the show. Harry Grant is the best rugby league surfer ever. Oh, that's yeah, well, that would be right. That's a huge rap because he's Harry sponsored by JS Surfboards, and Parco's involved in JS Surfboards. Oh. And he said he was looking at how many boards are getting sent to Harry, like since he's been sponsored by him. And he said, Harry Deadset must have a house full of boards because he's got more boards being sent to him than any surfer, professional really? surfer. He, he said he's got more surfboards than I've got. And he I'm surfs at every, at every given Jack. opportunity, though. Yeah, yeah. Jack, Jack, Jack. He does. He's a Queensland Melbourne Storm captain now. Yeah. Oh, Melbourne Storm. I don't know why I said Queensland. That was bizarre. Jack, Jack can, Melbourne Storm can, we, can, we, can we just pick someone up here? Yeah. So Let's not be too so, judgmental yeah. there, Cobb. This, this is a bloke, right? This is a bloke here, Cooper Johns, who did set twice a day, mm. right? 
twice a day, there's a knock on the door, mm. and we open mm. it up, and there's mm. either a free mattress, free hat, free clothes, yeah. free shoes. Fit. Just doesn't matter what it is. And I just it's got to the point now, doesn't Trish? We hear a knock on the door, and we get we just we just know we, we yeah. just Ignore it. it just leave it because it's something for Cooper. You got a, a popular sports brand the other day sent him something. One a, an American brand, and I remember thinking, "What have you done here? You've you teed something up." He goes, "Oh, you know, last year they sort of said they wanted to do something with me. I guess they just wanted to send it. They, they sent him like three pairs of shoes, shirts, and I'm going, what the hell's going on here?'" I said to Cooper recently, there was a certain brand that sends things through to Cooper, and I said, "Really like those pants. Your chance to sort of get me something." Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Nothing. Yeah. I saw a pair of shoes. Right. Gotta like them. Can you guess it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, what? sure, sure. It's like Gordy. Gordy always with with he was sponsored by a uh, a shoe brand. He's with him. He got a lifetime contract, and he keeps saying to me, Flesh and Heine, mate, what size are you? And we got to the point. Where we said, Gordon, please stop saying that. You've been saying it for basically eight years. So last year, <laughs> he actually delivered to me. Oh, the and lady shoes. Being, and ended up being lady shoes. That's right. right huh? Yeah. Yeah. So shame on you, Gordon. Tell us on that note. Let's take a break, and uh, back with more. Welcome back to the John's Family Podcast, Um, guys. We're getting to the point here. What do you got for us, Coop? You got anything? Uh, Not really. I did have a little bit of. I had a bit of feedback uh, from. I did. I did some stuff. I'm sorry. Sorry. Isn't feedback my thing? No, I had a bit of feedback from myself, like some self-talk that I've been doing. Oh, Sounds like there was going? a lot of that going on. Self-analysis some, uh, is some poor like analysis. I was calls from you in the AMs during that trip away, and I, I feel like there might have been a bit of self-talk going on. Mm. Oh, well, there's a bit of a of saying that former footballers and ageing actors are bad judges of their own form. Oh. Lots of self-reflecting across the last week that's been going on in Vegas, but I did... I shot a little thing with um, Tim Zoo while I was over there. Uh, he's got a fight coming out, and we just shot this little thing, just just helping Timmy promote it. Just, on, it, it just, can you believe this, Josh? Know, know, mate, it, it, soon um, he'll be flown over for, you're, so for you're, ringside tickets. Via, you're helping him promote via your... Just via everything that I've yeah. got at the moment. But we just shot a little thing where basically I was over there and... Um, I was extremely hungover when I was doing it, and he oh. was making me. I th- we did a little workout kind of thing, and I thought the workout was just going to be like, you know, it looks more like half a workout, but like on, on camera, it looks like we've done a f- proper workout. But I've rocked up like in jeans and that, and it was a proper workout. Like I was on the assault bike, Ew. and I was boxing, and he's going like one, two, jab, one, two, jab, and like he was into me being like harder, like flick your hip, flick it, and I was like, what? the hell have I got myself into here? And I was like, Tim, Tim, stop. And just like, start crying. I was just, like, stop. I was like, Tim, no, stop. This isn't fun anymore. And just for context for people too, like Cooper may have only retired six months ago, but Cooper hasn't really st- stood foot in a gym or a training field since just about when he well, finished. Well, kids, well, I've American seen him kids, out there twice. Well, kids, American kids were asking for autographs. I thought it was Mr. Burns. From the <laughs> oh. I um, I have <laughs> no ass. Very, that's very, very harsh. Dribble. That's very nice, harsh. Matthew. Yeah, I was. Um, <laughs> Gav, love harder, love harder at that. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? See, oh. um, that's what a TV. I it's not even is. about the body; it's more about yeah. The, um, I do, I've been out in the gym twice, but both of those times, I've just told my missus I'm just going out for the gym, and I just sit in there on my phone, rolling. Actually, on Actually, I've back. noticed that. Yeah, you've done. I also times. noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can say it on here because I know she's not going to listen, so I can say it. Mm. So no one told me in, but I do do that often. And if I see anyone coming in, I'll just drop my phone and like go up to the chin up bar, and I'll just like oh, come down, but there's not a drop yeah. of sweat on me. Mm. But I tell you what, you, uh, yeah, one, yeah, <laughs> you, mate, we'll get we'll get you running, eh? Yeah, I don't. I a few of the old boys over in Vegas, uh, Wade Graham and some of those lads, they said to me when they've they like, oh, have you done it? Have you doing training or anything? And I was like, nah, not at all. And they said, how hard is it? Like, how yeah. hard is it once you stop and just go? You just have no motivation to ever train ever again, <sighs> mate. Okay, Wade Graham played three hundred and forty three. In our real yeah. game. And he's a lot older than you. Yeah, and, and you're, you go, us yeah. old boys. <laughs> you didn't say that. That was actually the worst taken right out of your mouth. Yeah, I don't know why that came out. That didn't, I, I guess so. Now that I'm like, now that I'm in the class of the old boys, yeah. it kind of just, you know, it's slowly starting to feel like I'm turning into, like I'm older than I actually am. <laughs> and yeah, I'm probably treating the people, the current players. Like I remember I was chatting to someone 
I think I was chatting to Woodsy of all people, which is a very bad person like to be chatting to. What was he? Yeah, well, he wasn't with the old boys running at all, no. And I was going, no, nah, no, nah, he was out there. He was training while he was over there. Obviously, he's in his last year. Hopefully, it's his last year. <laughs> he's he's, he's, in, he's signed to every media company. And I was, I found myself talking down to him. I was like, "Oh, just, just really soak this all in, eh?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my before you know, before you know it, you, you, you know, you'll be retired, and you know, like you, you'll miss this camaraderie around all the boys. <laughs> and Woodsy was like, "What the f- are you talking about?" <laughs> I was like, "I'm so sorry, Woodsy." I'm, I'm Mate, he loves to chat, Woodsy. I, on, on the last day, I went down there for a final punt, and I was just slap on the pokies, and I just love sitting there. It's like putting the brain in the jar and just sitting there. And Woodsy, oh, Matty, how are you? And sat behind me and just spoke for like 25, 30 yeah. minutes, and I was going, oh, God, give me strength. Yeah, it's hard to oh. take it. A, a t- you know what? Funny story while you're on somebody that, that uh, doesn't stop talking. My missus, after a few drinks, can get very much like, if you're sitting next to her, we'll just sit there and chew your ears off. And like this, and I was chatting to Paul Gallen. Paul Gal ended up accidentally like sitting next to her at one stage. And Kenna just turned straight to Gal and just started talking about like, you know, footy or whatever she wanted to talk to him about. And I seen Gal the next day and he goes, bro, your missus. <laughs> he said, I got there. Yes, she was lovely for the first 10 minutes. And then for the half an hour after that, I kept trying to wait for her to take a breath so I could go, right, I've just got to go to the toilet or <laughs> just got to like go and do something. And he said, she did not take a breath of air for the next half an hour at all. <laughs> Trisha, who was your MVP on the trip? Trish, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just was she, napping. Madam Two um, over there, I'm stuck in the wax museum. Who do you think? What? I didn't see enough. Oh, sorry, I didn't see enough. You were in what? Vegas. What do you mean you didn't see enough? Well, you just can't remember. Eh? So no, I didn't see enough. I yeah. didn't go out all that much. Last like two oh, days. Hang on. I was, hang in, I was on. in bed icing my foot. Mate, These two. Elevated. Okay, via our family WhatsApp group. <clears throat> These two. We're very active on it, letting me know what's going on, how they're going. You, little lady, were extremely Yeah, that's because MIA and I'm I'm No one cares about what I say. I'm thinking you went I'm um, MIA oh. because you went M A D over. Why have you just turned uh-huh. so sad in the oh. last five minutes? What about I uh, when My foot's throbbing. with the foot was playing up and playing I said up. Went to, well well it, it, it took a lot for all of us to convince her like Brit never to get go to the football. We're talking about they t- turned up. Amy turned up like uh, the other girl was Brit's she great went friend. Down and got hired a, me a motorized scooter. Got a motorized scooter. There was I said, lots of what things. What am I going to do with that? I said, so I'm, I'm thinking, Trish, go. Oh, I'll find a way to get the game. And I was chatting before the game to to uh, Yvonne and and Braith and Gordy, and they're like, "Is Trish coming?" And I said, "Look, I really don't think so." I, She's going to try to, but I said, it's a real shame to come all this way. And oh, right. So we sit down for the coverage, and as I sit there and they sit, we sit down there, so I look over behind the post, and there's Trish sitting there, the old cock of the walk, and she's got the she's having the drink. She's drinking the champagne. I thought, oh, my God. I was. Talking about going from zero to 100. Wait, did she have the no. motorized scooter? No. Oh, you didn't have it? No. I was, I was imagining you like, getting back and up. Beep, beep, No, but beep. Gemma and Britt, like um, – it was a funny sort of event to get there because it was quite a walk. And then oh. Brit runs across. Actually, I'm going to give Brit MVP because Brit sources everything. She runs across <laughs> what the do road, you mean by stops that? his guy. <laughs> Brit Fletcher. Oh, with the, like the, the, who had a shuttle thing oh. and charmed him and he gave us a lift to the, like, to the gate. Imagine that household. Fletch she, and his wife, She Brit. just has the most contagious laugh. Honestly, we just laugh for three days. Yeah. She's hilarious. Uh, what about what about the – I mean, with uh, uh, Allegiant Stadium, thank God it had a roof on it, Jack. Is it Allegiant oh, or is really? it Al- Allegiant? Allegiant. I don't know. Oh, you say oh okay. French. Sweet. It's French. It's, French. it's Allegiant. Mm. Are you sure it is? Yeah, it's not Allegiant. Because I thought it was Allegiant for a while. And someone said, no, it's Allegiant. I thought, well. Anyway, yeah, it's definitely a legion. I don't know Allegiant. if okay. that was because we well, on Stevie, the we'll give you, we'll send you back the thirty seconds there to all the listeners. Mm-hmm. Guy Sorry. on the way uh, when we get the um, guy from El Salvador actually, uh, dri- uh, taxi driver, drove Fletcher and I to the hotel. I said, mate, does it, just a question. Does it does it rain much in Vegas? And he said, man, it mm. never rains in Vegas. It never rains. Well, guess what, mate? It was almost like a tornado. 
the day of the game. It was oh, the insane. Wind. Rain the wind, wind? Oh, no, the wind. rain. And then some rain. Rain. It yeah. was when we first arrived and got out of the taxi, it was pelting down. Yeah. We just, I got stuck out in but, that. You know what I did realise, though? You know how they had the pyrotechnics? Yeah. What happens because of the closed stadium, we all got ash on us. Really? Yeah. Because everyone went, what is that? Yeah, and we realised. Where does it go? Yeah. Well, usually it would go into the atmosphere, but because yeah. of yeah, the... Yeah, yes, yes. Because <laughs> of the roof. <laughs> but I was thinking... No, we did. But where, I was thinking during the game, because it just lingered around, I said, is there a vent they opened to let it out? I mean, no, it why didn't. would you put pyrotechnics was, on an indoor stadium? Yeah. It was like... Um, It'd be like yeah, doing crack and in your living room. Yeah. Imagine they just let, let a couple of fireworks loose. Mm. Right, right, guys, is there anything we missed? Oh, I had a little Trish bit of feedback. feedback. Yes, feedback? I did. Remember, well, um, I had one guy, I can't remember his name, but he went to the Double Down Saloon and tried the arse juice, and he loves it. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Arse juice is good. Yeah, I don't know yeah. Sorry? It. Yeah, arse juice is good. And yeah, one of our other listeners, uh, I didn't actually get a name, corrected you, Matthew, Black Velvet, hmm. Alana Miles, uh, not Alanis Morissette. Alan- Alanis? Alana Miles. And Alana Miles, checked. that yeah. is right. Because mm-hmm. I thought it might have been Martika. That was a few weeks ago. I think yeah. it was Martika there for a while. I was wrong. Can't yeah. remember this Martika. Remember Mark, what song she sang, Martika? Did it, did it. That's all I know. Jeez, yeah. yeah, it wasn't know, a great song. But the other one, that was that wasn't the big. The other one I like better, which is Martika's Kitchen. Anyway, on that note, Gav, we might finish with a bit of what? Martika's Kitchen on the podcast. What's one, Martika's Kitchen? Uh, it's a hell of a song. I'll play it for you uh, later. One um, tip. One tip. If I can leave, listen. If you're ever going to Las Vegas, pack moisturizer and chapstick. Oh man, uh, how about Matt's lips? Dad's lips were dead set bleeding. They were actually bleeding. Mm. Yeah, they were actually bleeding. And yeah. only use chapstick. One of the wardrobe girls gave him some. Scented raspberry thing, and that actually makes it Amer- worse. American girl, yeah. yeah. And your, your yeah. lips, you've just got a fl- you're like you just end up with like flaky white well, stuff because it's all it's over windy. You. It's a windy city. Yeah, yeah. it's a desert. It's and desert it's a desert altitude. wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was. I'll leave you with this. Yeah, we're we're you, down in the casino, and I'm walking around. I thought, oh, what am I going to get? And literally, I couldn't even barely open my mouth because the lips were just. <laughs> and I looked up and I went, Yeah, I feel like a chicken sandwich. So it had spicy chicken sandwich. Oh. Okay, when I said most spicy, yeah, yeah, okay. Like in, anything in America, it wasn't the size of like a, a normal, say, let's say KFC sandwich, yeah, a zinger. <laughs> it was like massive, double patty. And I go, okay. And I literally open my mouth and my lips go, crack. bush, crack. And then simultaneously, I put my mouth around it. And mate, when they say spicy, this is, this is the it was actually f- volcanic. Oh, no. <laughs> I had to run to the toilet and just like throw water on my lips. Oh, okay, what was your favourite food over there? Let's talk about that because they're, they're good with their food. We, right. I'll tell you what, Trish, we've been trying to end this for about no, half an hour. Right, I'll tell you this one, the Trish. This is very left to centre, the fish and chips. Really? I had fish and chips and they were no yeah. fish and chips in the desert. Yeah, what a yeah. great place to get fish. Yeah. What are they just? That's like, a very good question, like Jack. And they always say, the they always say, do not bat. order seafood an hour inland. Well, guess what? We were in the middle of the desert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Cooper, did you like our dinner at Hakkasan? That was really nice. That was good. The best food I had. I went to this. Uh, what was the, the at the Wynn Casino? Over yeah, there? yeah. We went to this steak restaurant. Um, on the second night, and I had the probably the best steak I've ever had in my life. What was it called? What was the restaurant? I can't called? remember. Can't dirty remember. What you, Trish? You went to. Car- I also had a dirty martini. It was the first time I'd ever had one. Did you have it extra dirty? Yeah, I was a dirty little. Have it really <laughs> dirty. You have to have it really dirty, otherwise it's too yeah. filthy. That's just the yeah. um, olive juice in it. That's yeah. what makes it dirty. Yeah, you, yeah. Trish, what's your best meal? Uh, I, I like that, but I they do good Japanese over there. But I also loved that. Was it Carver Steak? Carver Steak. That was amazing, mm. amazing. Everything was amazing. I went into Carver Steak uh, after one of the shows. I ripped in to see how you're going. And uh, Trish so goes, delicious. would you like anything? I said, yeah, why not? She goes, oh, there's my potato. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sickening. Oh, I'm not doing carbs. Yeah. Jack, what about while we were gone, did, what was your best meal that you had? Because you've been cooking. I made, uh, made some pumpkin ravioli uh, from scratch because why not? And Was I made, it more successful than your last one? Um, no. Jack, hey, uh, let people okay. know, Jack is an insane cook. Yeah. Very good. And I made some uh, I made some pasta sauce from scratch. And uh, Cooper ripped into it yesterday when he came home. He was panicking because apparently Uber Eats wasn't working. Oh, uh, no. I know. He was in hysterics. I said, the apocalypse. Well, he goes, yeah. I said, hey, I just want some pasta. It was like 11 a.m. in the morning. I'm going, I wonder where you're going to get pasta at 11 a.m. in the morning. Yes. Yes. Bring back recipe of the week. I reckon it's starting to It's actually, yeah. I had it's a bit of a f- following there last year. I had people like, leaving mail in my mailbox up in Newcastle. So. Really? 
Really? Yeah. yeah. Jack, yeah. And abusing Jack, me oh, whenever so I'm going to kill yeah. you. Male underpants. Yeah. Jack, I think you need to do a YouTube station, um, a channel yourself Sorry? of cooking. I reckon uh, too, Jack. I reckon. Uh, yeah, for single no, guys. For single, single guys. guys. guys I, I'm They'd just so great. committed to this podcast. I'm going to dedicate oh. recipe of the week. Let's uh, let's go next week. Recipe of the week is back. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, really let's work on your presentation. Then. I think the the glory part of recipe of the week is the fact that I don't prepare. I think that's what they like about. Yeah, the I most. do really? like that. Yeah. Do, no. do, can you just? I'm going to finish the podcast with this because this bloke's been a whipping boy this whole podcast, and rightfully so. Do you hear what um, Jack said there, Coop? He said. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dedicate all my focus and energy on this podcast. Yeah. Think about doing the, something, the same, mate. Maybe give away one of your six jobs. Right, up, people. <laughs> um, have a good one. We'll speak to you next week. Cheers to everyone we met. <laughs> <laughs> leave that in. And leave those that we in. didn't. Just leave well, that in. You've got to leave that in. Shout out. Cheers to everyone we've ever met in my life. Oh, my God. Ever.